And yesterday we topped out in the low to mid 80s. Today, mid to upper 80s across eastern Oklahoma. And even though we're talking about October, maybe you have plans to head out to the, some of the area lakes. Enjoy another great day out there. Let's take a look at some of the lake levels, and they are all over the place. Keystone running still five feet above average. You notice Grant a couple feet above, seven feet above average up at Oolagop, six feet above at Fort Gibson. You notice Hudson still running three feet above. Then we have several lakes that are actually a little bit below, three feet below on average at Skytook, also at Ten Killer and Eufaula. So again, depending on the lake levels, either well above or a little bit below. So just be careful out there if you're going to be actually on the lake itself because we're going to see some gusty winds out of the south throughout the day today. Here's a storm shield radar. Yesterday morning, we were tracking some of that low cloudiness. Took a while for that low cloudiness to fade and more sunshine to develop yesterday. We're starting off with mainly clear skies this morning. We're seeing a little bit thicker cloud cover in far southeast Oklahoma, and that should fade away pretty quickly. So mostly sunny skies on the way for eastern Oklahoma today. Beautiful shot this morning as we're seeing a moon over Tulsa as it's slowly going to set here over the next hour or so. Look at that temperature, 71 degrees. Now remember the average high for today is 73, so we're right around the average high for the day here during the morning hours. We may drop off another degree or two. That would be about it, and then a big warm-up throughout the day. Those winds out of the south southeast currently at 9 miles per hour, and temperatures here in the metro lower 70s, so fairly uniform with the clear skies and those breezy south winds, 70, 71 degrees right here in the city. As we expand out across southeast Kansas, Kansas and eastern Oklahoma. We're at 72 this morning up in Coffeyville, 69 in Bartlesville. We're at 68 in Tahlequah and Stigler, 71 this morning, and you follow also in Poto. And in temperatures right now, compared to this same time yesterday morning, running anywhere from about three to five degrees warmer across eastern Oklahoma and southeast Kansas. You notice five degrees warmer this morning right now compared to this same time yesterday morning. So most areas of central and eastern Oklahoma are seeing warmer temperatures this morning compared to what we saw on our Saturday. And it's all thanks to these south winds anywhere from about eight to 10 miles per hour here in northeast Oklahoma. You notice 14, 15 mile per hour south winds in southeast sections of the state. And then you move over into central Oklahoma. Most areas there are already seeing winds anywhere from about 10 to 15 miles per hour with higher gusts. In fact, we've actually seen some gusts over 20 miles per hour around Oklahoma City over to Watonga. We have a current wind gust 22 miles per hour in Ponca City, a 26 mile per hour gust down in McAllister, and a 23 mile per hour gust in Coffeyville. So we are seeing those breezy conditions and the winds will get even stronger as we move through the morning hours. And with those south winds pushing mild weather across much of the southern and central plains into areas of the Great Lakes, you know, 65 this morning in Chicago, 70 in St. Louis. So we're seeing that warm weather pushed all the way up into the Great Lakes, 64 in Detroit, a bit cooler in the northeast, you know, 64 in Atlanta this morning and out to the west. We're seeing temperatures fairly mild. It's chilly though around Durango, as you'd expect, but mainly 50s and 60s as you head to the Pacific Northwest. So as we move on through the down future track, I'm seeing a little bit of cloudiness in far southeast Oklahoma right now. Let's put this into motion. I think it's putting a little bit of additional cloudiness out there than what we expect. Mostly sunny skies around the area for today. So a pretty nice day minus the wind as we are going to see temperatures though running about 15 degrees above average. Then overnight tonight, we'll see mainly clear skies again, a breezy south wind and that's going to help to keep those temperatures up again for tonight into the upper 60s and lower 70s. Here's a look at highs today. The record high today in Tulsa is 93 degrees, so it looks like we're going to fall short of that, but still very warm for this time of the year. 88 here in the city, 88 in Bartlesville, 88 out in Bristow and Kellyville, Henrietta, Okmulgee over to Muskogee and also around the Braggs area, 87 degrees, 90 in Fort Smith, also in Ponca City, and a gusty south wind 15 to 30 with higher gusts. Then for tonight, we'll keep the breezes going, not quite as strong, but still out of the south at 10 to 20 miles per hour, and temperatures tonight dropping into the upper 60s to lower 70s, so another mild night as we move on into our Monday. Tomorrow afternoon, the record high for our Monday is 90 degrees. I'm shooting for 91, which would be a new record high for the date tomorrow with a strong south wind, so very warm on our Monday. Still warm on Tuesday, but a few additional clouds will drop temperatures back in the mid 80s for highs. Cold front moves in on Wednesday, so we'll see a 30% chance of rain and storms Tuesday night, Wednesday, and Wednesday night. Cooler Wednesday, then much cooler Thursday and Friday will. Back in the 60s, finally going to feel like fall again by the end of the week, but wow, the next couple of days, still going to feel like summer. Looking forward to that going off again, but at least these next few days will be a little warm, but it's coming back. Yeah. Yeah, depends, depends on what kind of weather you like. You like the warm weather, you'll love the next couple days. If you want fall to return, just wait a few days. Something for everybody. It's something for everybody, yes. All right, thank you, Chad.